Welcome to this video on how to brew great espresso using your Appia espresso machine. Your Appia machine is designed to be easy to use and with proper training you can count on making great espresso drinks every time. Let's start by taking a tour of your machine. Turn the machine on by holding down the power switch for 5 seconds. To turn off the machine, you also hold down the power switch for 5 seconds. Be sure to turn the switch off any time you are unplugging the machine. The Appia has a smart wand for automatically steaming milk. On the left side of the machine, next to the power button, there is a smart wand button. The smart wand is located on the left side of the machine and has two cylinders, one where the steam comes out and one for the temperature probe. It turns off when preset temperature is reached. The sight glass window on the front of the machine allows you to examine the level of water in the boiler. The boiler level will typically be at half. The control buttons are located directly above the groups and are engaged by pushing in. The Appia has five buttons above the group from left to right. A short single shot, a double short shot, a long single shot, a double long shot, and one that works manually. The first four buttons will stop the pour automatically. When using the manual button, simply push the button once to start the pour and then push it again to stop the pour. The automatic buttons are programmed to pour the same amount of water through the shot each time the appropriate button is pushed. These are the buttons you will use most often. The porta filter holds the brew basket and fits securely into the group head for extracting. The brew basket is a metal filter with holes to hold the ground coffee. The Appia has a specially designed hot water lever. Pull the handle down to start the flow of hot water. Push the lever up to stop the flow of hot water. This is the pressure gauge. When the machine is cold or has no steam pressure inside the tank, the gauge will read zero. As the machine is heating, the needle will increase in value. Eventually, the needle will increase to between 1 and 1.4 bars within the green zone. The bottom needle indicates brewing pressure. The top needle indicates tank pressure. Congratulations! Now you know the parts of your espresso machine. This is a great foundation for learning to use the machine to make high quality drinks for your customers.